All right, here we go. Let's get rolling on the next section here. We're going to solve some inequalities. This is awesome. It's game time, literally game time. Uh, I like to think about Among Us here. So we're going to solve some inequalities. When you start, your crewmates are always greater than the imposters. No matter how you set it up, you're going to have more crewmates than imposters. Uh, and then uh, you slowly chip away at those crewmates if you're good imposters and whatnot. So we're going to solve some inequalities, figure out how many uh, crewmates are left and whatnot. This is the same stuff we've been doing. So let's check it out. We solved equations with Mr. Kelly Maselli for a while. We got really good at this. Uh, remember, draw the line thing. Let's just real, real, I can't talk. Real quick, let's solve this bad boy. So get this thing going. We're going to undo everything. So we're going to subtract one to start, which leaves us 2x equals 8. And then what do we do to get rid of that 2? We're going to divide by 2. So I know you guys are good at this. I've seen it. It's awesome. X equals 4. What we didn't do is you can actually graph that answer. So that is the answer right there. X equals 4. That solves this equation. 2 times 4 plus 1 is 9. You can put that on a number line. There it is right there. X equals 4. It's not really exciting. That's why we didn't do it. But technically, that is the answer. How is that different than an inequality? Remember, these aren't equal. So it's the same thing. I'm going to draw the line on the inequality. I'm still going to subtract the 1 just like it was a plain old equation. Just pretend it's an equation. So I get 2x is greater than 9 minus 1 is 8. Then what do I do? 2 times, I'm going to divide by 2. Divide by the 2, and you get x is greater than 4. So what's the difference here? All the steps are the same, but my answer instead of equal sign, like x equals 4, is now x is greater than 4. Now we just do what we did last section. We're going to put that on the number line. So x can be any number bigger than 4. So I go to 4. Remember, it's an open circle because it's not equal to. And it's every number like 5, 6, 7, any number bigger than 4. So there's my solution set right there. So instead of getting one number that makes the equation true, there are infinite numbers that make this bad boy true. Any number bigger than 4 makes that true. That's it. That's the whole section. So really, it's nothing new. It's just putting some things together. Let's knock these out. I like to think of them as tasks. Let's start with communication over here. Let's see if we can knock this task out. Uh, boom, here we go. So I'm going to just solve it like it's an equation. So I draw the line right here. I'm working the x by itself. So how do I undo minus 5? I'm going to plus the 5 to both sides. Rock and roll. Those cancel out. I'm left with 3x is greater than or equal to uh, negative 3. And then how do I get rid of that 3 in front? I'm going to divide by 3. Excellent. So really, it's the same thing. Draw your line, but instead of that equal sign, I've got an inequality here. So x is some number greater than or equal to negative 1. Excellent. So all we're going to do is just graph this, all the answers here. So find negative 1. I know it can be equal to negative 1, so it's a solid dot. And again, I want all the numbers bigger than. So it's pointing to the right. I'm going to shade to the right. That's why we were shading last chapter. Put your shade on. Boom, there it is right there. Awesome. Let's try the next one. It looks like uh, we're in electrical now. Let's get rid of this. Let's do this task. Knock this bad boy out. Here we go. Uh, same thing, but now the variable's on the other side. Don't freak out. Same stuff. So what are we going to start with? The 4, the 3, or the 6? I'm going to start with the 6. we got to work backwards, so we're going to subtract the 6. So they're gone. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. The sign says greater than. We've got this y being divided by 3, so let's undo that bad boy. So you guys have done a lot of solving. So I know you're feeling pretty good about this. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And what do I got here? These cancel. I'm left with 3. So this one's a little tricky. I do not like to graph it when it's like this. I think I said this last section. I really like to flip it. So the y is first, the variable is first. Just make sure, see how Pac-Man's eating the 6? It's going to be eating the 6 this way too. Or it's pointing at the y, it's still pointing to y. This is what I like to graph. I just have more luck. If you can read this backwards, y is less than negative 6, that's cool. But when it's like this, y is less than negative 6. Much easier for me. So go to negative 6, put a circle in that bad boy because he doesn't equal it, and we're going to shade this way. Awesome. So really that's it. It's combining kind of the shading we did last time with the solving equations we did last chapter. Here are two tasks for you to try, so I want you to pause it, see if you can take the trash out and uh, fix the engines real quick, and I'll post the answer. So try this one. Good luck. All right, here we go. So hopefully the first one, uh, I had the variable on the right side, so I flipped it to the left side, so it's t is greater than or equal to 3, so make sure you shaded the right way. Hopefully you got 3, first of all, and that you saw a dot shaded to the right. So again, I flipped it to make sure it was easier for me to graph. And then I threw a not equal at you just to see, just to keep it real. These don't come up too often, but every now and then you see one. 
that's the not equal to four. So hopefully you got those, if not find those mistakes. Let's wrap this bad boy up. We got one more problem to do and it's a select all. So I need to know all these values that make this statement true. So here's the inequality. You can plug and chug. You can put two in, you can put three in, you can put four in, you can put five in, but I prefer to solve it uh, just so I get a real answer instead of trying each one individually. So I'm just gonna solve this bad boy like normal. So draw your line, boom, those cancel out. We get four X is greater than 12. And then we are going to divide by four cancels that out, we get x is greater than three. So I'm looking for all the numbers bigger than three. So that's enough to go on. I like to make myself a, a little rough sketch of things. And there's a rough sketch that Mr. Uh, Sullivan drew of his dog, I think, right there, because it's a rough sketch. Get it, rough sketch? Ooh, that was rough. No, I don't want a rough sketch like that. I want a rough sketch like this. Just a quick number line, it can be super rough. Here's zero. The point of interest is three, so one, two, three, here's three, and I can put some more numbers to the right. But the idea is I just wanna get a general feel. I want all the numbers bigger than three, so it can't be three, it can be all the numbers up here. So I like to draw a little sketch, and it can be rough. Uh, hopefully it's as good as Mr. Sullivan's dog over there. And then now it helps me pick these out. Is two bigger than three? No, it's not on there, so I don't want that one. Is three bigger than three? No, because of the circle. It's not including it, it's not included in there is four, yes, I can see four right there. There's four, there's five, there's six. So I can see the numbers nice and neat. So that's why I think it's a nice little visual, <laughs> like a visual task, uh, like the trash to do that. That picture's trash, that picture's okay. Um, all right, so that's it right there. Enough Among Us stuff. That's inequalities. Do the practice, grade up, see how it goes. Good luck on the mesh check, peace.